A plugin is a set of tools containing one or more APIs. Adding a plugin to your bot is one of the many ways you can enhance its capabilities with Coase. All you need to do is click Add Plugin, and then you'll get a list of many different services like Google Web Search that you can add to your bot. And you can also create your own, and let's get into that. First, find an API that you like. And for this example, I'm connecting to the New York Times API. I give it a name, a description, and I also paste the URL that's given to me by New York Times. As you can see here, we have our headers option. For some APIs, you'll need headers. Headers are used in API requests to pass additional information between the client and the server. That can include content type and authentication tokens, but for this API, we won't need that. Next up, we have our authorization method, and we're going to choose service, but you also have other options like no authorization or even OAuth. Now we have our location option, which introduces the header and the query. The choice you make here is based on the API that you're using. I choose query here because part of the URL that I'm using specifies what I'm looking for in terms of search terms. The API you're using most likely has documentation or developer portal. That's where you can find your parameter name or your API keys. So click confirm and let's move on to the next step. Let's create our tool. Once we click create tool, we'll navigate to the basic information page. We start by giving our tool a name, a description. We can edit the path and we can change the HTTP method. It's best if you have a basic understanding of how APIs work. And for this instance, I'm gonna go ahead with the get method. Now for the input parameters and the output parameters, it really depends on the API and what's required for it to work. And I actually don't need any of these for the New York Times API, so I'll just save and continue. It's not required. And for our last step, we have the debug console. This is where we can see if our API connection is actually working. After I click run, you can see that debugging has passed, and I also get all this information from the New York Times API, and I'm getting all these top news articles for world news. The results in the debugging console are in JSON format, but when we chat with our bot, we'll get a response in natural language. Make sure to publish your plugin so you can access it on any bot that you're working on. If the API you're using is requiring personal information, then click yes, and if not, just cancel out this form and click no to publish directly. Once we're done publishing, let's head over to the Coase workspace and add our plugin. So we click add, and then we go over here to my tools and we choose our plugin that we have. And just a quick tip that with Coase, even when you create a custom plugin, you can also add plugins that you find on the store to your bot to make something even more powerful. So let's start chatting with our bot and see what the results are. Let's start with the simple question. What are the top world news stories from the New York Times right now? So we send the message and we let it generate. Within seconds, you can see that our new plugin that we created is being used here. In your journey for finding the right API for your bot, you'll also notice that there's many endpoints that your API may provide. So for example, with New York Times, there's endpoints for world news, travel news, science news, and so forth. Each one of those endpoints can be turned into a tool for a plugin. The New York Times API gave our plugin the ability to give us direct links, short descriptions, and even pictures. And that's how you can create a custom plugin with Coase.